Hey guys, what's up? It's Dianyan again, and I got a cool GTA tutorial here, which is how to uh, model a, uh, how to modify a, um, a character in uh, San Andreas. Not, not the uh, player, but a, pe a, a pedestrian, and uh, how to kind of make a boggle head thingy. You know, the things with the big heads and the small bodies, they're really funny. So let's make one of those, and it's going to be really cool. And I'm going to show you how to add objects to the player, so let me know, I mean to the model, so let me know if you want to know how to do that, because I think you guys want this, I'm not sure though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into TXD Workshop and uh, open um, GTA3.img in your models folder, and um, you'll find, if you do a search here for um, sfpd1.dff, the San Fierro Police Department people, and right click on that one once you find it and go export and export it to your models folder so okay we're done with that now so we'll minimize and in the utilities panel here in 3ds max click on dffio so you know we're using cams max scripts so we'll go import dff in the import dff dialog and make sure first that a is selected here for skin characters so click that A button, make sure it is selected, that's very important. Uh, okay, now look for sfpd1.dff, which is what we just exported, and we'll open that. Okay, so we've got that in 3ds Max, now we'll, can, we can close this. Okay, so we got it here, hey, you know what, it's sideways, that's not cool, so let's highlight everything, select the rotate tool, and press F12. And here on the Y position box, go uh, type negative 90 and then press enter. And then your player is at the right position. So that's really cool. Let's get into the, um, we'll just tell them, let me just explain. When we press the A thingy before, um, that automatically skinned the character. So it's linked the character to the bones. So when we move the bones, the player will move properly. So for example, if I was to move this bone right here hold on if I was to move this bone the player's arm would move with it as you can see okay so we don't want to do that though because that's not cool so we'll click on the on the player's skin which is the model the mesh of the player and we're going to click on uh, edit double mesh and we'll click yes this is just saying if you add any polys or vertexes then uh, the skinning thing will stuff up and you won't, it won't be very good. What we'll do here is we'll um, select this vertices thing here, vertex here, to uh, get the vertices uh, showing up. And we're going to uh, increase the size of all of these. So um, come over to your uh, left uh, viewport and select all the vertices around the guy's head, around the neck, and all that. Just select everything around the neck, not below, you know, the middle of the neck here. So go to the scale tool and come into the uh, perspective viewport and scale it up and give him a real big looking head, really funny looking head. Um, and once you've done that, come over to the left viewport again and select the move tool and kind of move his neck up to make it look a bit realistic. Once you've done that, uh, yeah, move it up, move it forward. All right, so that's good. And as you'll notice, his neck is really demented looking. So we'll just select these ones here, these vertices here. By the way, hold Control to select multiple things, and we'll just select all those ones. So make sure everything there's selected. We'll get the Scale tool again, and scale those down, and uh, that'll be cool because it looks more like a neck cool that looks good that's really cool we'll click out of vertices and select the skin again and you know that looks really uh really funny looking actually we'll stick a texture on here we'll go into the sorry hold on we'll go into the models folder of san andreas models and we'll select our texture which i exported earlier ages ago here it is um and just drag it on you know, it's not, not not necessary at all, but you can do that if you like. So, there's our cool player. He's looking good. So that looks pretty cool. Let's click on the player 
and uh, just to be sure, actually we'll select a bone first, just to make sure the neck is still working. It's a good practice to make sure. I will select the rotate tool and kind of just move his head up and down. And as you can see, he's nodding, which is really cool. Control Z to uh, undo that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to export the guy. So we're going to go into utilities, DFFIO, and go to uh, bone skin export, bone slash skin export. And make sure not everything selected, just the player and the skin, just the player, just the, just the mesh. And go export here. So on the bone skin export that. And uh, export it as the same thing as the original SFPD1, save and replace. And now we're going to go open up TXD Workshop, right click on the original that you exported before, and go rename. And I like to just call this instead of .dff, we'll call it .old. And once we've done that, we can add this new one. We can go archive, add sfpd1.dff. And that's added. So now what you got to do is kind of just close DXD Workshop. And if a game does crash, then just be aware that sometimes you have to do it a few times in DXD Workshop because DXD Workshop doesn't always rebuild the archive, which it needs to do. And sometimes it doesn't, which is kind of dumb. But if it doesn't work, then just keep trying to uh, import it again in TXD Workshop. So that's all. Uh, have a look in game, see what uh, what things look like. It should be really cool and funny, uh, and uh, it'll be all textured and animating properly, and really cool. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you again sometime. And yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, see you later. Being Dinian Davis, or to do them.